So now that we got our general busing, I'll start from the left and work my way to the right. You wanted the law, but do you want that gangster story? I stand with the general. The story of a gangster's rise and fall. I stand with the general. Just listen to see if anything is out, like if anything is out of place before I start mixing it. So we're going to go to the sample low, which is our bass track. We're going to beef up the bass just a little bit. We're going to add a Waves plugin. I use a lot of Waves plugins. You could potentially get this same type of sound using stock plugins, um, but it's really not the joystick. It's the person who controls the controller. You have to learn how to use your plugins. So I'm looking for Submarine, and we're going to put this on dual mono. This helps with the rumble and the low end when you outputting it from your like headphones or, or in the car, the car stereo. This helps with that low end portion of the track. And I usually just couple it so anything I do with the left will automatically be done with the right. I don't put stereo plugins on mono tracks. I use mono plugins for mono tracks and when I bust them out to the aux tracks, I use stereo plugins on aux tracks because the aux is sending out the signal in stereo. So we're going to adjust the low end to about 40 and the threshold we're going to bring it just a little bit past a little bit less than 120 i don't want it to kick over that so we're going to increase the drive a little bit give it some dynamics and i don't kick this up too high kicking it up too much you you know destroy your speakers and whatnot so let's hear what this sound like you wanted the law but do you want to let gangsters do i stand with the general story of a gangsters but we're gonna move the gain down because we want that to be our last track i like to add distortion to my bass the law, but do you want to let gangsters do I stand with the general. Story of a gangster's rise and fall. So I like to add a little bass. So now that's pretty much it for the bass until I go through everything else and hear what it sounds like after that. So now we on a, the high portion of the sample, which I want to make that sound louder, more lusher. So I'm going to use what I call my cheat code. And this is called Decimort 2. This is from Group Audio Software. So Decimort 2, we're going to click that on mono. And usually this first plugin that's there, I use. The law. I stand with the general. more pause so once we do that then we want to add a little reverb to it and i like to use the valhalla vintage reverb when you put reverb on the track you want to bring the mix as you know bring the mix down when you put it on the aux track you could feed the mix a lot more but if it's directly on the track you want to bring the mix down the decay down and you want to shape the sound so you don't want it to bleed too much in the high end and bleed too much in the low end because then i start giving you muddy waters Let me try a delay. Let me see what that will sound like, putting a delay on it. So this sample delay, very easy to use plug-in. Give it a little bit on the left, give it a little bit on the right. You wanted the law, but do you want that gangster story? I stand with the general. Story of a gangster's rise and fall. I stand with the general. I mean, that sounds a little bit, that sounds cool.